Hello, 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 buenos dias. Good morning, beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva. And I wanted to come on here and do a quick DIY cover page for a big planner using a Lucky Charms cereal box to create a beautiful sparkly cover for your big heavy planner so i did this um during like the week of saint patrick's day to judge up my planner for the season i got the idea just to make a lucky charms cover because i thought it would be fun i was i had just finished a big box of lucky charms and i i mean lucky charms is my favorite cereal and so i wanted to like hold on to the lucky charms feeling um even though i'd finished the box I usually don't eat cereal, but I make an exception for Lucky Charms. I'll treat myself to a box or two every year. But um, I wanted to use the box as a cover because I thought it could, you know, potentially work as a cover. And so I did a quick DIY and I really, really liked how it came out. So I've shown this before on my channel. Um, I use like a sparkly uh, sticker, vinyl sticker to go over it. Um, although this was a really quick DIY, and so I did it really roughly, and I did it really quickly, and so um, it's not perfect. Um, it's definitely a prototype. Like, I didn't really cut the holes very well, and this top one is always, like, falling off and slipping off. And then also, like, the... Um, like the box itself, I didn't really cut very well. I just went with scissors and I just did a quick cut around the front. I didn't really measure anything. So you can see here, like it's very wonky on the edges. And also on the back, um, I just slapped down some scrapbook paper. This is like clover scrapbook paper and then some washi tape. And I didn't cover up like all the gray cereal backing. I didn't even cover up the entire thing with the vinyl. Um, you can see there's pieces of it just peeking out. Um, and yeah, it's definitely rough around the edges. There are so many things that I would do differently to bring it up to the next level. Like I think I would cover this with computer paper first so I could give it that white background. And then I would layer like scrapbook paper and washi because right now with the um, white background, I mean, with the gray background that the cereal box has, it's really hard to see the washi because the washi is transparent here. And I think I would use different types of washi as well. So this is going to be Lucky Charms 2.0. And I was actually thinking of holding on to the cereal box um, for <laughs> until next St. Patrick's Day. So I, I could release this video on St. Patrick's Day. But I really don't want to hold on to this cereal box for too much longer. Um, I actually finished this like two months ago and I'm already tired of having it around. So we're going to go ahead and just do this DIY and then maybe for next St. Patrick's Day, I will do a 3.0 version. So this will be more practice of how to turn the cereal box into a big happy planner cover. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to cut out the front piece. And this is where you really want to be as careful as possible. I was not very careful when I first did this um, first initial cut. I was very, very wonky on the edges. So I would suggest taking your time with this step and really being conservative with your cuts. Like you'd much rather, like it's better to um, kind of cut less or give it a little bit more of that overlap. Um, it's, it's hard to describe, but the corner where the box, you know, starts bending and going onto this side, like you would want to cut like a little bit above that, even though, even though it makes like the cardboard not very flat. So I would say start off with cutting a little past that corner there. I would be particularly careful on the sides of the box because um, 
that's where you need the most uh, cardboard. The top and the bottom, we have to cut a little bit because this is a little bit too big for a big size planner as it is. So you're gonna have to cut a little bit on the top and on the bottom for it to fit. So you have a little bit more wiggle room there. So let me pull a big planner cover and you can use this as a little bit of a template here. So I like um, cutting both the top and the bottom because I like to uh, cut off this giant size label here and I also like cutting off the nutrition facts as well. So I place the cover right where I want to cover it and then I'm going to go ahead and use a sharpie to make a line where i'm going to cut this let's do it again so perfect and then on the other side as well okay there we go and i like holding the planner cover there just in case cut off that and then I will cut this side as well perfect this is trash now and so now the box is a little bit bigger than the planner cover maybe like two millimeters wider um i think i'm gonna actually leave it like that for now because i'm thinking of covering it with the sparkly vinyl and then cutting after it's already vinyled up so now we have the base that we're gonna work with and actually i'm thinking of maybe for the um the 3.0 version of this video that will come out next saint patrick's day i'm thinking of potentially just using the cover and then just laminating it um, instead of adding like that sparkly vinyl because i feel adding the sparkly vinyl while it's beautiful i feel like the colors kind of get a little bit masked here whereas if i just laminate it with you know clear vinyl i think it'll preserve a lot of that i don't have a laminator though so i think i'll wait until um next year for that one so I'm just going to brush off any dust that's on the back. And then I'm going to go ahead and use, I think, computer paper, plain white computer paper, or sticker paper. I will use sticker paper to cover the back. Okay, so I thought of potentially using computer paper to cover the back, but then I remembered I actually have sticker paper that I could just peel and stick. So let's do that. And again, this is in order to give um, just a, a nice white canvas for the back and to add. So that way, if I add any washi tape or scrapbook paper from the back here, it will have this nice white canvas that it can really pop on. Okay, there we go. And I'll go ahead and trim off the excess here. I might even use this to kind of cover the very edge here because I feel like we have a little bit, a little bit of a gap there. So, like so. Perfect. And that leaves the last little bit. And I might even kind of overlap it just again to give it one more layer of this nice white canvas. There we go. Oh, there we go. Try to make it Trying to make sure there's no bubbles in it. Ugh, oh, there's a little bit of bubbles there already. Let's see if I can try to pull them out. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Okay, let's 
take off this excess piece before it gets too messy out here. Okay. And again, I'm just going to add a little bit on this side. Try to roll out any bubbles, but honestly, I'm, that's fine. I don't mind them too much because I'm going to layer more stuff on top of this. Okay, and on the back, I want to use some of that same Lucky Charms Shamrock scrapbook paper from my Parkling Seasons paper pack. And actually, now that I'm looking through all of these choices, ooh, that one's fun. I'm wondering if maybe I should go with like something like that, like the bunnies, even the flowers. This one looks fun. Maybe I could do like different types of scrapbook paper. Like I could maybe mix the bunnies, the flowers, and the shamrocks. Where's the shamrocks? There we go. Shamrocks. Perfect. And I'm thinking of potentially um, using washi tape to line the edges here. Do you see how much more that pops than the other one because of the white background? Looks great. And then maybe some shamrock washi tape on the bottom. And then this rainbow washi tape at the top. Okay, that's looking cute. It's definitely looking a little bit more uh, put together than my last version. So I'm already happy. Okay, so now to fill in the middle here, I'm thinking, oh, it fits perfectly. Look at that. I'm thinking of doing like three different strips. So something like this. And then kind of tucking this underneath and doing another strip. So something like this. And then the last strip is like so. And then in this case, I think I might want to cut it. Okay, perfect. And then I could pull it down just a little bit, like so. Okay, this looks great. So now I just have to glue everything down using my combo adhesive. Let's see. I just got a new Tombow adhesive. So let's try to glue everything down without too much trouble. Ah, a little bit of tape fell off there. Okay, let's put that down. And then the second piece, this piece. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Okay, at this point, I'm going to add some vinyl to the back here. So right now I have just plain vinyl um, with just like a holographic tint. And then I have vinyl with like a heart pattern on it. I have two of those. Oh, three of those. Perfect. I can use, oh, I have four. Five. I have a lot of this heart vinyl. And then I have one piece with like, oh no, two pieces with kind of like this geometric vinyl um, situation going on. And I have one piece with just little stars. So I can't use this because I don't have enough of this. But I'm thinking of potentially using this one for the cover and then just the plain holographic vinyl for the inside cover. So let us do that. And I'm going to be using a combination of 
my Cricut roller and um, scissors to get this on there. One piece isn't going to be enough, so I'm going to have to use two pieces. And I think how I'm going to do it this time around is I'm going to put one on this side and then one on that side. Like one on the top, one on the bottom. Because last time I did it, I just literally threw down one big piece in the middle and called it good. So let's start off with putting this piece of vinyl down. This is the hardest part. And just take your time. Use the roller. Go really slowly. I think I honestly want to layer some stuff on the table before I do this again because um, I really don't want this vinyl to be sticking onto the paper that I use as my background. Okay, so there we go. Not bad. No bubbles as of yet. Okay, I guess it's not too bad. We can keep on going. Okay, second piece of vinyl here. And honestly, I feel like I don't really need that much. So I should probably cut it. Yeah, let's cut it. I need probably like this much. Okay, so I can stick this. And then I can use this piece. Do this then I want to layer it like just a little bit oh, shoot I can already see that bubbles are forming oh no okay okay let's try to put this down it's not too much issue okay Kind of messed up a little bit but i think it'll be fine okay so there we have it now to trim off the excess again much better than last time i'm doing this so much more carefully like compare <gasps> Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought for a second there that it was upside down. <laughs> oh, well. Um, okay, so compare. This is 2.0, 1.0, 2.0, 1.0, 2.0. <laughs> it looks a lot better. I did mess up a little bit here. There's a bit of a bubble. <sighs> oh, well. Again, maybe for 3.0, I won't mess up at all. Okay. So now everything is holographic. It looks gorgeous. And then now to move on to the front here. Now we're going to add vinyl to the front and we're going to do it the exact same way. I'm going to add a big piece here and then I'm going to add a top piece. So wish me luck. And I think if I remember correctly, how I did it last time was I added one big piece in the center. And then I added some on the edges, which I'm um, not sure if I liked that. So we're going to try this new method in this revamped version. You're just going to have to go for it. This sticker vinyl senses fear. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We got it on there. We got it on there. Perfect. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. I thought I had a full sheet of, of this guy, but I don't. I have enough material, but I don't have like one large enough piece. So what I think I'm going to do is um, cut this piece like so. 
And I'm going to have to put like one piece here and then one piece right there. Oh, well. Okay. So. Okay, this one, this one wasn't as bad as the last one. Okay. And then you just need a little piece right there. Okay, not too bad. Okay, and that didn't stick to my surface too much. And now what I want to do, I think, is fold it over. Like fold it over to the other side, like so. Because um, I think that would protect the edges a little bit. So if I have any excess, I am going to fold it over. Make some strategic cuts so that I can do this for some of this. Um, okay, perfect. Oops, I got some wrinkles here. Oh, okay, oh well. A little bit unavoidable sometimes. Okay, fold this part over. There's a little bit of a wrinkle here, so I'm gonna use my scissors to kind of cut and fold it. Ooh, it's a little rough. It's not terrible, but that was a little rough. Okay, and I think the bulk of this is done. So you can automatically see that this is a little bit bigger than the standard Lucky Charms um, cover, but it and it is a little bit bigger than the big happy planner cover whereas this guy was a little bit smaller i cut it kind of wonky so it was smaller so this one feels already a lot more durable um i did mess up quite a bit on folding over the sticker paper or the sticker vinyl onto the back but that's fine and i really like this new inside cover okay so what needs to happen now is the punching Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab like a random sheet from one of my big planners and use it as a template to guide the punching. I used my big punch last time I punched this and I kind of regret that because it didn't come out super good. I think I'm going to risk using my single crocodile punch. And I really want to make sure that this is going to be sticking. This is this template is going to be sticking. So I'm going to use some tape, some just scotch tape to tape this to um, the cover like so, just like that. I can peel it up very easily, and then I'm going to get to punching. Um, okay, I need to use, I think, another sheet because I need a guide to, um, to guide that first punch. So, so something like this. This is <laughs> kind of rocket science right now. So, like, I can use this as the guide. And then I could punch it. It's not punching very well. Okay, there we go. Oh, 
Okay, thank God there's 11 holes. I was like, is there? <laughs> is this going to work? Oh my goodness, that was a mess. That was such a mess. And I feel like I completely ruined this page. <laughs> Oop, yeah, it's kind of fucked up now. Okay, let me just fold the tape over. Like so. And <laughs> then this page is just going to have tape on it whenever I get to this section. Okay. Okay, it's still better than my first one, I'd have to say. I think it's much better. Um, but that was a bit of a struggle. <laughs> Okay, so it should be done now. I should be done with this. Let's see. <laughs> Big test is putting it on the rings and how it feels on the rings. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's see. I want to see how much bigger it is than one of these covers. I don't mind that it's a little bit wide. I guess I would cut it a little bit more. I'm gonna cut this excess sticker vinyl um, from the bottom here, cause it's a little bit sticky. There we go, perfect. Okay, yeah, um, I don't mind it. It's a little bit bigger than a regular cover, as you can see, but that's fine. I think it turned out super cute. It definitely turned out better than my first one, but there's definitely room for improvement here. So I think I'll be prepared to make a 3.0 version for St. Patrick's Day next year. And I think I actually like like the geometric holographic more than I like like the stars holographic. This was the stars holographic. As you can see, it's more of a micro glitter. And this one is a bit more of a chunkier holographic flash there. I like this one better. Um, something I would do differently next time is I would have two large pieces already <laughs> instead of using three pieces because you can kind of see the lines here. I mean, I can't avoid this line because there's no way that I can order a vinyl piece that's as big as this. But um, I am fine with this line. And then maybe what I would do next time is I would have the large piece be up here and then the line be down here. But at least I could get rid of this line here. But it's not super noticeable. You can see it if I tilt it around, but not super noticeable. And then I would also um, be much more careful with laying down the vinyl on the inside cover here. And then laying down the sticker paper as well. Because I have some bubbles underneath the scrapbook paper. And then when I was laying down the vinyl like overlapping the edges, which I do like. I do like the fact that I have vinyl coming from the front over onto the back because it is going to protect like the edges of this thing. I think I would definitely do that, but I would just be a lot more careful about laying it down because I did create some bubbles and some lines here. And I think I would cut it down like two millimeters on the top, bottom, and on the side here. It is a little too big. That's funny because this one was a little too small, and now this one's a little too big. So I think for my 3.0, I'm going to have it be just the right size. And I also think for that 3.0 project, I'm going to look for some like shiny gold scrapbook paper from Michaels. Like go out and get a really nice piece of like metallic gold scrapbook paper and then have it be a frame around this. So I'll put down like the scrapbook paper and then place this on the scrapbook paper. So that way this is a little bit smaller and then we'll have like a beautiful gold frame around the edges. So that is the plan for next year. Anyways, thank you so much for checking out this DIY. I'm just glad that I have that cereal box out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this 1.0 because I don't need this anymore. This is now the new version and it fits on the discs so much better. Um, yeah, that other one was like slipping out like crazy. So I'm happy to have this updated version. But again, 
So thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if I should do any other cereal box DIY covers. And also, let me know if you have any other suggestions for this DIY cover. I'm all ears. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe and blessings on you and your family. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you later. Don't forget to catch the trails. Have a wonderful time in your happy planner. Have a wonderful time in your planner this weekend. And don't forget to hydrate, wear sunscreen, and hit the trails. Adios!